Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we are going to be solving the mystery of the panoramic map. What it means is there a bigger meaning to this map and a whole lot more. So this is something a lot of you guys asked me to tackle. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I did a video where we covered some of the mysteries of the snow, like the strange defaced grave at Barrow Lagoon, some of the cabins, some frozen settlers, and a whole lot more. And one of the things you guys pointed out that I missed was the panoramic map. And I did actually find it on that playthrough, but I felt it was so complex that it almost needed its own video to be explained. And that's what we're gonna be diving into in this video today. So for those of you guys that are wondering what the heck is the panoramic map? Well, it can actually be found pretty high up on the map in the Grizzly Mountains. And uh, what you'll notice is there will be that sort of white blip that shows up on your screen. And you'll notice that there are two X's side by side. And when you arrive, you'll actually find this little camp. I say camp quite lightly because it's not more than like a cart, some crates, and a little tent. You will find a couple huddled up together, and they will have a document. You can actually take from them a note, and it turns into the panoramic map. And on the surface level, this panoramic map is a little bit confusing because there's no text on there. It essentially just looks like you're looking at maybe like some landscape and then there seems to be five dotted lines heading out in different directions. So you might be wondering, well, what the heck is this supposed to be? Is this related to UFOs? Is this related to another mystery? Well, that's what we're gonna be finding out in this video today. Now, before we dive into the panoramic map, let's talk about the settlers right here, this couple. I wanna know who they are. Now, unfortunately, we don't get a ton of details on what they might be or their background or their whereabouts. The only thing we know is that they're up here in the snow, in the mountains. They seem to have frozen to death. That seems to be the best likely understanding of what happened. The reason they're stuck out here, I think, is because their horse sustained an injury and also froze or was no longer able to be ridden on. So I think what happened is they basically got stuck up here and they froze to death. And I think that they were using the panoramic map to try and find whatever they're looking for. Now, in case you guys are wondering its exact location, it is just to the northeast of Coulter and sort of halfway to the Adler Ranch. It's just off of the right side of the road of this little path right here. Again, it's kind of hard to find if you don't know what you're looking for, so that is the exact location. Now, because I do this in most of my experimentation videos, I wanted to see what would happen if I put a stick of dynamite right on our poor souls right here. And other than it clearing the snow, uh, nothing really happened. I mean, sure, we got a better view at these guys' shoes, but that's it. Uh, we can't really do anything with the settlers. And again, we don't find any more information. So because of that, I don't think that this couple is all that important. I think what they're holding is important, and that is the panoramic map. So let's start to dive into that now. And you might be wondering, where is the panoramic map looking at, and where is its point of origin? Well, mysteriously enough, that is actually found on the top of Mount Shan. So on the side of Mount Shan, there's actually this little rock arch that you can go on, and you will find a very similar drawing in the rock. It's the exact same carving that you can find on the map, where it has the five sort of dotted lines going off into the distance. Now, in case you guys are wondering what that star is in the sort of left-hand side of the screen, that is telling us what direction is north. The arrow is pointing north. So basically what that tells us is that the map is looking the opposite way. I know that's a little confusing, but it'll make more sense once we actually take a look out into the horizon. So essentially what you're supposed to do is stand opposite of this, and then you're supposed to look out, and that will tell you where those icons are pointing to. The five X's on the map, what does it mean, 
and what are they pointing to? Now, when I first came across the panoramic map, I just thought this was a simple acknowledgement of the fact that there were aliens and UFOs in the game. Because as you guys know, if you go to the top of Mount Shan around 1 or 3 a.m., you'll actually find an alien UFO that does end up spawning and appearing. So at first I thought it was to discover potential other alien locations. However, as we'll discover in a little bit, I don't think that necessarily makes sense because not only are there not five UFOs, but the lines that are pointing out don't necessarily lead to UFO locations present or ones we haven't even potentially found yet. So even though that would be fun and would make sense, I don't think that it's accurate. So now we need to return back up to that spot during the daytime because it's definitely a little bit easier to see. And uh, once again, you can see that this is the exact spot where the panoramic map is taken from, where it was actually drawn from. So now that you know all of that, we can find out what the panoramic map is actually used for. Now we know a couple of things. It appears to be hand-drawn. It shows a panoramic landscape drawn underneath the night sky. It's detailed with rivers, lakes, plateaus, cliff sides, roads, cities, and towns. And the five locations that are pointing to are actually just towns. From left to right, it's Valentine, Saint Denis, Rhodes, Blackwater, and strawberry. So it turns out that the mystery of the panoramic map really isn't all that much of a mystery after all. It literally is just documenting five of the biggest towns and cities in Red Dead Redemption 2. And in case you're not convinced, take a look at this photo right here. Someone actually stitched together sort of two different views of the world and put them together. And as you guys can see here, piecing them together, you can see Valentine, Rhodes, Saint Denis. You've got the same rivers and landmarks that confirm this is the right spot. And then Blackwater and Strawberry. So even though that's not too exciting, I really do think that that solves the mystery right there. Now, I'm sure some people are going to want to connect this to the rock carvings or the sundial on top of Mount Shan that also has sort of the same, uh, you know, arrows on the rocks. And maybe there is a connection here, but I don't want to overthink this. And that's what I think we need to do here. We need to keep it simple, stupid. And the reason for this is Rockstar probably added this in the game just to be accurate on the culture of the late 19th century because panoramic maps were used quite often. Panoramic maps were a popular cartographic form used to depict U.S. and Canadian cities and towns during the late 19th century and early 20th century. They're also known as bird's eye view perspective maps and arrow view panoramic maps and non-photographic representations of cities portrayed as views from above at an oblique angle. Although not generally drawn to scale, they show street patterns, individual buildings, and major landscape features in perspective. So even though it's pretty mysterious and the fact you come across it on two frozen settlers, I think it is just Rockstar wanting to be accurate with the times of it being 1899 or 1907, depending on when you find it, which would make sense as this was a tool used by many travelers throughout the world. So there is a good chance that this map was added into the game just as a world building piece to add depth to the game. In fact, there's a lot of items that you can find in game that are little more than just collectibles, things that Arthur will put in his satchel and that's it. And while I agree with that, the only thing that's strange is that once again, it was found in the clutched hands of an NPC couple frozen to death. I think had this map been found in a random desk drawer, I don't think people would be all that interested. But you do have to go pretty far out of your way in order to find this. You need to be exploring the areas of the snow, and that's certainly not easy to come across. So if there is a bigger and deeper mystery here, I don't think it's been found out yet. I mean, not only have we found the map, but we found the location on top of Mount Shan that has the exact same engraving on the rock. We know that it looks out towards all the towns. There doesn't seem to be some like secret blacklight message that you can find there. So at the end of the day, 
I think this mystery is solved. So anyways, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. I'm sure this is going to be a very discussion heavy video. What is your opinion on the mystery of the panoramic map? Do you think it has been officially solved and what I said in this video today makes sense with it being the location of the big towns and cities in game? Or do you think it does lead to a bigger mystery? But could that mystery have just been the Mount Shan UFO and that's it? Again, I don't want to overthink things here, but you guys are way smarter than me. So again, let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. If you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.